Hey everybody, what's going on? This is CoinPurse. Today, we're taking a look at a game called Abandoned Ship by Fireblade Software. Uh, the team over there has been gracious enough to provide me for a, with a key uh, to kind of go over some things in the video. Uh, basically, this is a crew management game um, set in a kind of a pirate era um, with really cool art and uh, very detailed um, backgrounds and things like that. Um, I have played through the tutorial, so we're just going to jump into a normal game. We'll just call this KP. We'll leave it at normal. Player generated names. If you sign up for their newsletter, um, you can have your name added to the game. Um, and then your name is put into a, a pool uh, that will randomly. Um, select names to use in the game. Uh, this is a procedurally generated game uh, so you can change up the seed however you want and let's take a look. So without spoiling it too much um, you can kinda see that uh, there are monsters in the game as well as um, different crew members on enemy ships that will be attacking us. A wild chorus, the birth of a monster. In that moment, the final strand is cut, a burst of clarity. The horror of your recent existence dawns upon you. Escape is all you can think of. Okay, I'm sure this is fine. These guys with the hoods look fun. The tentacles flail wildly on the water. People drop to their knees, some through fear, others with adulation their god is manifest. You watch from your position of privilege on a private balcony. Ooh, VIP section. You notice your two bodyguards are distracted and enraptured. Strike them down. Instinctively grabbing something, you smash it down on the head of the first guard. Shocked. Surprise registers on the second before he too is down. You are unsure whether they are dead or unconscious. You feel a drip from your fingers. You look down at your improvised weapon. A small idol of father. Oh, daddy issues. It is cracked and has cut your hand. You are drifting, but something inside snaps you back to reality. You have to move fast. The cell offers the safest route to freedom. You stride into the prison with feigned authority. No matter the place is unguarded in, in our, no, there, moment of triumph. Escaping alone would be futile, so you grab the keys from the guard room and approach the prisoners. Who should we unlock first? So these are the first crew that uh, we have access to. So we have three spots open, um, and we're going to take each of them from their cells. So, Gunner... Sailor repairs the ship. Um, so each of them has four, uh, I guess, traits, if you will. Navigation, reload, repair, and melee. Um, so I do want to kind of balance it out. Um, let's get the sailor. And then we will also get the, let's get a fighter, uh, have gear regards a bonus to performing ship maneuvers. Hmm. Let's do the gunner. Continue. You and your new companion surge through the labyrinth. Finally a door. Light seeps in through cracks in the frame. Close your eyes for a moment as a sea breeze brushes your face. Looking down the winding path ahead, you see what you had hoped for, a ship at anchor. It was likely stolen and repurposed by the cult. Time to put it to better use. Let's get out of here. You see the little mouse pointers in A. Love that. Okay, so here's the ship. Uh, escape, everyone on board. Man the ship's wheel and cut the ropes to get out of here. Alright. So it's kind of a uh, RTS uh, at this moment. You can select 
as you saw all of them were one at a time uh, the one you have selected is orange we're gonna I am going to drive this baby you guys are gonna cut the rope and we're off cruising now dozens of furious cultists charge the jetty as you pull away a high priest at their head his scream reaches your ears and drips with scorn. Heed me, betrayer. Our father knows and sees you always. You will never escape his embrace. That's a pretty good voice, right? As he speaks, the other cultists disappear, disperse, no doubt to begin their pursuit on their own vessels. Okay. We are in great danger. We are escaping. Um, this is us right here. And... Um, we're on a map, uh, it's kind of cool, kind of looks like a, a painting, um, one of the things that the Steam page says is, uh, that's kind of modeled after old, um, naval oil paintings, which I thought was a cool effect. Um, so we have this view, these are gateways to different areas, and, uh, we will take a look at that later, um. We can also go back to our ship if we want to kind of change things around. Um, and once we get into combat, you'll see this a little more, but the different icons, uh, your guys can man the station. So he'll sit there. Uh, here is our makeshift surgeon table. Uh, these are water pumps. So if this top bar up here fills with water, your ship sinks. This is your um, hull health or integrity. Um, down here are the different crew members. Um, you can also use the numbers, one, two, three, four. Uh, this is the range that we, uh, or the distance um, far too close uh, when another enemy ship appears. This is our gold, our supplies, and our morale. We also have a journal, which goes over a number of things. We can take a look at our crew. Um, well, we gotta change this. There we go. I am the severed one. So basically, we're escaping a cult, right? We gotta get out of here. Uh, we got a quest log couple different things. Ship management, the seagull, we can see what weapons we have, we can see what upgrades we have um, and are available. So if the blue means we have that on board and the grayed out ones we don't yet have. So we can buy lifeboats, uh, harpoons, extra armor, things like that. Alright, let's go back to the map. Now, in order to, so we just explore around. Um, now, right now, we can only go to a certain direction, and I think, whoops, that's not what I wanted. I want this. See at the bottom, the exclamation point um, is where we can go. Um, it doesn't look like you can move the ship in this view. That'd be kind of cool. Um, kind of see the the, sh the whole map at once. Um, but yeah, let's, let's zoom back in here. We're gonna go cruising and escape these cultists. Here's some supplies. So if we go here. A patrolling cult ship has stumbled upon us. Man the guns. We owe them no mercy. Here we go. All right. Battle stations, men. Maybe. What happened? There we go. Okay, so we can pause in real time. We can issue orders. Um, so we are going to have the gunner 
get to those cannons. We have Grape Shot, which uh, is uh, anti-personnel. So once we get closer, we can actually take out the guys here. You can see them here. Uh, we have a... Um, I don't remember the name of this. What is this? Oops. Anyway, this uh, fires like these almost horseshoes or these hooks that uh, rip holes in the sails. Um, and as we gain speed, we can move up and move closer to them. This is the same thing as us, except for them. So we have the hull integrity and uh, the amount of water they've taken on. We can set um, starting positions for our crew members. So, you know, I want the gunner to take the cannons. I want the melee guy to get on the grape shot gun. And I want this guy to man the water pump. Uh, once we set that up, we can actually save that. Um, so that'll happen every time. Um, and once we save that, we can actually tell them to get to the last save positions. So it's uh, that's a nice little feature so that we're not, you know, clicking each guy uh, at once because it can get a little frantic. Um, for now, we'll have you go over there and we'll do that. Let's see if we can move up, kind of move in, and actually melee guy, why don't you do this? And you can see here they're loading up the cannons. Boom. First hit. Fire! Hit! Fire! I think it's like two little cannonballs with a chain, and it kind of spins around. Or is that the grape shot? I don't remember. Okay, quickly. So we're getting a little closer. Shooter! Gotta take out their mat. This is our, our each station, and as, as I mouse around here, you can see which one it refers to as well as what they have. So I'm aiming at their masts um, to try and knock those out so we can catch up. There we go. Got it down. Dude is repairing. And you can see we're closing the gap uh, because we damaged their masts a little bit. Um, and we'll move in and we'll get them. Hopefully. They keep repairing it though. Okay, let's have you move time. And then you're gonna move to the grape shot. I wonder if we're close enough. Get there, get there. Doing pretty good. Their hull is almost gone. We're still full. We've only taken a little water. Oh, we get a leak. Didn't even see that. Um the sailor could repair quicker. So he's gonna repair that hole. See, I want to take you guys. Boom, that'll do it. Nice. This is their life bar. Um, okay, back to your gun. And it kind of saves the progress of where you were at. Um, and we got him. Bye bye, cultist bastards. Very cool. Victory, grab what you can and be quick about it. More ships will be on the way. So we got 20 gold. Um, and then we can leave combat. Yeah, but what I want to do first, we're going to empty the water, repair that. Good. We've done it. Now we're gonna go to the unexplored area. Cruise. You announce to the crew that you need to take stock and are not to be disturbed. The captain's cabin 
You find some clean clothes, most likely belonging to the poor previous occupant before the cult, at their way with the ship. It feels good to finally be out of your flowing ceremonial robes. You stow them neatly away, knowing they may have yet have their use. Okay, so I already changed it. Can you change the picture? No. I am the severed one. You don't even recognize the face looking back at you. Who are, were you? All you're certain of is that your past was stolen away by being, you know, as father. Some spark within you, some spark within you pierced the fog of your blind devotion. Now you must kindle it. If you're to have any chance of remaking yourself, then the hunt for the answers and revenge can begin. You reemerge under the deck, and the crew snap to attention. We may have escaped, but we are not safe yet. We must take port and go our separate ways. It's me they're after. You return to your cabin and slump in a chair. Moments later, a strong undercurrent of exhaustion pulls you into a deep sleep. Uh-oh, nightmare. Still loved and always in his thoughts, you were the first. But he knew something within you had changed. Thus, you were marginalized, became a symbolic icon with no real power. You didn't care. Something in you was gaining strength, little by little. The fog was clearing. Like in this story so far. Creepy. Okay, a sharp knock on your door snaps you awake. Moments later, you stride back onto deck to issue commands. The cult fortress is far from un from inhabited lands. We'll need to navigate through open waters before we can find a port. We're in grave danger. Okay, so these uh, are events. Um, so if we go in there, this is the cultist symbol, usually. Um, so if we go in there, beep. Oh, we've already passed that? Okay. An opposing cult fleet is spread right across the waters. Are they searching for you? or merely pursuing some other ominous errand. Either way, the closest ship changed course to intercept you. The cult ship makes to pursue you, but something seems to call it back almost as quickly. Okay, made it out of that one. Let's get some supplies. Let's see what we're dealing with here. So we only have the one door. That's where we came from. And we don't know... So if we sail close to it, we can see how many secrets. I think the first time I played through it was four. Um, so that could be discovering something, it could be taking out cultists, nope. Yep, so one out of four, so we completed that. Um, by clicking on that first one. So let's see what else we can find over here. Let's go after this guy. The tension on deck stings more than the dregs of a rum ration. Two cult ships have been spotted at the mild distance. Mild? Wow, I'm having a tough time reading. Our only hope is to deliver a knockout blow to the first ship before dealing with the second. Make for the gap between them both. Give them hell. You gotta fight, right? Ooh, beautiful water, though. What are you doing? Oh, you know what? Let's pause that. Go. Go. Kind of the same strategy right now. I also wish there was a way to speed up the battles. Um, unless I'm just completely missing it. Let's just pause. Okay. Maybe. Uh, nope. Resume. Here we go. And these are a couple different things. Um, we can run away, or attempt to run away. 
Um, this will turn the ship around, so if we have like, regular cannons on this side, but long range cannons on this side, we can turn the ship around uh, to do that. on your gun, you scallywag. I have the same strategy. I'm going to try and take out their sails and their mast uh, to get closer. Bomb the crap out of them. We got a leak. And eventually you can um, get more crew, you can upgrade and change the weapons on your ship, you can buy new ships altogether. Um, so it's a pretty uh, in-depth management, I guess, slash simulation, which is pretty cool. Why isn't this guy just fire? These two guys fire automatically, but this guy doesn't seem to want to. Kind of weird. All right, we got them below fifty. We're getting there. See, once this bar is filled up, I can use these different actions. Um, gotcha. There we go. Broke all their stuff. So move in, boys. That my my mast is busted. That's why. Oops. Fire! board the boats too. Um, if you can get close enough. But we don't need to. You can also uh, ram the boats as well. We got damaged cannons or something? No? Or is it this side? Yep. Let him fix that real quick. Okay. Moving on. The first step is creaking into oblivion, but there's no time to salvage any spoils. The second ship is bearing down fast. We engage them. Heady with a taste of victory or retreat. Safe in the knowledge you struck a valiant blow. Um. Let's see if we can run away. The second cult vessel was bristling with cannon, which made it threatening but slow. You decisively put enough distance between you to ensure safety. Okay. So now we hit, you can see down here, we have two uh, completed. So I know there's one by the gate, so we need to find one more um, to accomplish. Or complete. I like how the view uh, reveals itself. That's pretty cool. Look out. Rocks are coming at you. So I wonder if it's going to be like right in the middle. Who knows? It's procedurally generated, so it could be anywhere. Which is pretty cool because that means each playthrough is going to be different. 
which is always appreciated. And I like that you actually are cruising in this view. So you're not just trudging along. Okay, what's what's the deal here? I wonder if you buy different ships, um, if it'll show up differently. You know, that little icon, if it'll look different, and then uh, if it'll move even quicker as you kind of upgrade things. Okay, what are we doing here? Okay, so it has to be... Let's grab this. Cruise on up north here. Well, that's good. It's not even letting me crash into the rocks. <laughs> That'll be good in the long run for sure. Okay, nothing there. And where is this thing? There is music and sound effects, but I kind of turn those down so you can hear my beautiful voice. Um, and this is just the early access release. Uh, they're making all kinds of updates and additional features are coming. Um, so, a lot going on. Okay, a small speck on the horizon, and it's moving. You sense the foul energies of the cult long before you confirm their flying colors. It's headed towards the cult fortress, so you doubt it has business tracking you down. Cool. I like that. Oh, no. You drop to your knees. It feels like a lightning storm inside your skull, and you sense a massive, ancient intelligence emerging from it. Scanning the horizon, you see an unnatural disturbance in the water, and it's approaching fast. I'm sure this is fine. Oh, boy can't avert your eyes as the royal closes the distance. Whatever it is will be upon you in mere moments. Okay, nothing to worry about. Just this giant shadowy monster chasing our boat. I'm sure it's fine. The Kraken! You're not prepared to best such a beast. Fight it off and flee. When your maneuver bar is full, press the flee button. To initiate your desperate retreat, the bar around the button will fill up. Once it's full, your ship will successfully flee the area. Interesting. Ooh, look at this guy. Release the Kraken. Ooh, boy. That is awesome. Okay, not so awesome now. Oops. Where's the... Ouchies. Sever the tentacles. I can't target this. There it is. Oh, there's one up there. That's cool. We're fifty percent. Flee. Flee. Now this bar has to fill up. I'm sure he'll... Yep. He's back! Look out! Look out, you fools! Just keep driving. You've wounded the creature and escaped. Somehow, you feel in your bones at the Kraken. Only time to recuperate before it resumes the hunt. You should not dally. Yes. Three out of four.
And our our hull integrity is not looking good. Oops. Sail ho, your Tutman bellows. You breeze from your cabin and squint hard in the rush of chill salt spray. There's no mistaking it. Those are cult colors and they're getting bigger. Oh, we did it now. Battle. Not good. They have a full hull. Oops. We do not. This is going to get real interesting. Move up while you can. game is epic. Oh damn, what was that? Like a sniper? You need to go heal yourself. Prayer to the hull, or the masts. So we can zoom in. Do it, do it, do it. What's another pirate saying? Yar. Quickly shoot them. Let's see if we can get close enough. I'm gonna try and board them before we blow them out of the water. What? What does that mean? I forgot how to ram. There's a way to ram them. There we go. Can you jump aboard yet? Let's let's repair this. Oh, there's no water. Whoops. What else needs the cannons again? Okay. All right. Good work. We've done it. We've opened the door. The great founding. Now that the danger has passed, the crew bombard you with questions. You feel responsible and share what little you know. That creature, the cult worshipped it. It's part of what they call the Great Project. That wasn't a question. I don't know why I said that. You refocus your efforts on reaching port as quickly as humanly possible, for their sake and yours. The dull ache in your head recedes slightly, and you realize you can't remember time without it. You feel more like yourself again and wonder what it will take to banish the ache entirely. It's a cool shot. The charts you found in the captain's cabin show a nearby port. Land safe from that infernal monster. We're locked. Ooh, 
these waters are dark. Something lurks beneath the depths. But we'll have to find the port in another video. I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Please leave a comment and uh, let me know if you like this video and we will do another one on this game. Uh, there's a lot more to discover and I'm really looking forward to it. As always, thank you for watching and we will see you next time. Take care.